And we are on Jazz Street with Rochester jazz legend Monty Alexander. Monty, welcome back. Happy to be here, Derek. Growing up, you, were, you played here so often, I thought you lived here. It was one of those places you call a second home. I did indeed come here frequently. They had that lovely little club on, uh, in Henrietta called, it was in a hotel, the Round Towner Hotel, and I was a frequent musician, you know, along with Ray Bryant, Junior Mance, Marion McPartland, and made a lot of friends. We're speaking to Monty Alexander here on Jazz 90.1. You actually even recorded an album there at the Monticello called We've Only Just Begun. You're absolutely right. It was about my seventh album and uh, live in that little Monticello room and Eugene Wright, the great bassist, and Bobby Durham. And it's uh, one, of this, one of the albums um, I'm pleased with. Yeah, we're speaking to Monty Alexander here on Jazz 90.1. So for Monty, you've been doing this for so long, but yet there's always such a youthful vitality to your music. Where do you get the, the inspiration and the energy to continue to press on? I just love to play, you know, and if I, if I can avoid the, the little things that come along that can get in the way, including myself, I, um, I just love it, you know, so if I didn't hit a home run, so to speak, then I'm going to get it tomorrow night, you know, so it's an ongoing love affair, it's a passion, that's what it is. We're speaking to Monty Alexander, let's go all the way back to the very beginning, to the studio one days with Cox and Dodd, what was he like, and the music you guys are creating as teenagers, I can't even imagine. Well, Derek, that was the beginning of what became a worldwide sensation. Jamaica is such an incredible place, holds so many heavy truths. And uh, I saw that transition from just music that was called mental folk music. I was this 14-year-old kid, and I just had to be in the studio with my heroes, the musicians, who wanted to play jazz. And Cox and Dodd and his studio one, he had that producer's insight about you know making music people would like, and he made sure the drummer play that backbeat and that bass player and whatever and out of that all of this uh, call it hybrid came a whole music form and I was playing piano in a lot of those sessions um, and Coxon was a very cool cat. He and his friend Roland Alfonso, the saxophone player, Don Drummond and all those guys and I was right there with them you know it's before Bob Marley came to Kingston so and he treated me very very kindly kind of very like almost like paternal you know he didn't pay me much. <laughs> we always laugh about that. But he and Duke Reed and Chris Blackwell. Blackwell said, I remember you when you were 13 on one of my sessions. And, you know, it's amazing. He's done so much for the music, you know. We're speaking to Monty Alexander here on Jazz 90.1, playing two shows tonight at 6 and 9 o'clock at Kilbourne Hall. Monty, again, we can't thank you enough for taking jazz further with your amazing artistry and career. Well, I'm going to thank you and the city of Rochester and John Nugent for, for making this thing grow and be as rich in spirit as it is. It's amazing because it's come, you know, to a happy, call it fruition, you know, Th 16 years now, right? So I'm honored and delighted to be here with you.